In this example, we will look at the butterfly pattern. And instead of looking at the bullish pattern, we're going to look at a bearish pattern. The butterfly pattern is also an X, A, B, C, D pattern. The difference with this pattern, as opposed to the other ones we had looked at, is that the X to A has a retracement to B, and it's a deep retracement up of 786 or 7.786% 7 of, of the uh, prior swing down. From B down to C, the market goes between a 38 and 88% retracement. And then that next drive up is where the market gets to that, that extension leg. B, C extends to D. X, A extends to D. Important to look at the 1272 uh, to 1618. Bryce Gilmore designed the butterfly pattern and it was 1.272 became the factor to use although some people do use a 1.618. Let's take a look at an example on a drawing and then let's look at a live example. Let's look at example again we draw it out and let's just take this as a bullish run. This being a swing low this is being a swing high and we're looking for this whole retracement down. If we take a look at the butterfly pattern the market will have its X point here, its A here, and then you have its retracement down of 786. It's move up. So if we look at this like that, and then one more time to the downside. This is where the butterfly pattern comes into play because we have the extension from X, uh, X, A, B, C, D, and this being the D point, sorry, this is being the X point here, this is being the A point, B, C, D. This would be the extension from the swing low on the prior market swing to highs down. So from here to high down, that's that 786 retracement. So when the market puts a lower high in and you get the final drive to the downside, this is what traders look at. We look at this point right here. From X to D and from BC down to D. And that sets up the butterfly pattern. We tend to see this in a trending market, the strongest in a trending market, because after the market has a strong run up, sometimes it does need a deeper retracement. And in that case, this is where we find the butterfly pattern in a bullish structure becomes extremely powerful. The reverse is true for a bearish pattern. Let's take a look at a live example. In this example, we will show the butterfly pattern. And then we're going to discuss variations, and we will explain that. Let's first start with a swing high and then a swing low. If we look at the bat pattern, I mean the butterfly pattern, from the high down to the low, market then makes its retracement up, which is 786 of this swing down, has that drive down, which is a 382 to 886 of that prior swing, and then the drive to the upside. And that drive to the upside would have that 1272 extension from the X up. So let's take a look and redraw this. We're going to lay in Fibonacci levels. So from here, straight down. And we're going to see where the market did retrace up towards the 786. It didn't surpass it. So right in this area right here. And sometimes it's OK to be a little bit short or right around the zone. It doesn't have to be exactly perfect. The other spots we want to watch, we can clearly see that this is between a 38 and 88 percent swing from here. And then we have the push up to the 1272, clear as day. So we're looking at the X 
down to A, up to B, down to C, up to D. And if we put the labels in there, here's your X, A, B, C, D. This creates the butterfly pattern. Now, since this is the last example, we want to expand on this because the question always becomes, well, how do you know where to pick your uh, targets? So we're going to get to that in a minute. The last thing we want to go over, and I apologize, is from C to D, from C to D, we're going to look at levels of retracements of targets. Now we do have to remove some of this other stuff. Okay. And typically what I like to do also is, although this is a 1272 extension, I like to keep my stops up at 1618 at a 1618 extension up here. You want to keep them wide enough because in case there is some additional play around the uh, level. On the way down in terms of targets, you have your 38, you have your, sorry about that, you have your 618 and then you have your 100% target. In this example, it did not reach 100%, but we did see it reach 38%, 62% and as a trader you would trail your stops. When you have your initial trade your stop goes 1618. When it goes down to your first target at 38% you, you take off part profits. Stop is here. It hits your next target and you lower your stop. Always good to trail your stops. Now let's take a look at the other question was where do you how do you know which pattern to use? How do you know where to pull your uh, high or low? So let me clean up the chart. Okay, we are going to extend, extend this last video and we are going to go through where do you know where to pull your targets from? So if we take the high to low, we could see actually that this has formed the potential for a bat pattern. Market high, market low, 38 to 50 percent, 382 to 886, and then up into the 886. That would be considered a bat pattern. That would be the first uh, big pattern to watch. Then we have this high to low here. And we're going to point that out in a moment. Okay, we are going to we move the Fibonacci levels from this high down to this high, and now we see the same uh, move down. If you take a look here, we have the first retracement up was a 618 from the market high to market low. We will draw that in real quick. Market high, market low. 618. This sets up the potential for a Gartley pattern. And the Gartley pattern arrives at the 786. So the Gartley pattern was tested in here. And essentially the market may have come down a little bit, but also went and tested the prior highs. This is why we like to put our risk above the market, because the market stays valid until it actually fails and continues up. So this actually would have stayed valid or a trader would have been able to re-enter the market. So what we're going to do is erase the arrows going to erase the arrows and we're going to draw in the other pattern. So as we see right now, before we get to the butterfly pattern, we already have two patterns within this whole structure. 
Now we're looking at this lower high because this now the market has made a lower high. I'm pulling the structure down, I'm pulling the pattern down, and we see that it made a 786. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the picture a little bit, and make it blue, and we're going to set the default so we could see that. That next swing, which we looked at in our prior uh, example, all right, and then came up to our zone. If we take a look at the Fibonacci ratios, as we did in our prior video, right here, we see that you have overlapping patterns, but in this particular example, you had the butterfly pattern within the structure of a larger bat pattern. This is valid, and it's a good way to look at the market. So you don't always have to look at one particular pattern. Many times, patterns overlap each other, and you have that higher time frame confirmation. So here's an example. We gave an example of the butterfly pattern. And plus, we gave an example of how you can use multiple patterns within one structure and be able to time the markets properly. Thank you.